Hello humans, and welcome to the weekly shave. This week we are going to be using a single edge gem feather weight. Very light, as the name would suggest. Lip top in immaculate condition. This one is it's really, I don't know if you can. It, the camera does it justice, but it's absolutely flawless. So, last shave on this blade. Uh, I can't remember how many shaves it has, so I'm just going to call it and say it is the last one on that blade. And I'm going to be using another brand of Baby and Kids shampoo mixed in with. Williams Fuck, oh I'm sorry, uh, Williams Mug Soap that I have in this WWF container cup thing. Definitely not impressed with the mug soap, to say the least. So. I was hoping that the baby shampoo will make it a little bit better. So I've heard that the Williams Mock Soap is uh, a little bit of a different animal. You have to lather it in kind of a different way. So. I'm just gonna do my best here. I'm pre lather it's a little bit more than I used to in the mug. And see if. That will help. Don't particularly care for the smell either, so I don't think I'm gonna be buying this one again. But at least I got it cheap. <coughs> and I'm just gonna add a small dab. The kids shampoo. And we'll see how that works out in the combo with the Williams. So that was fine, as you can see. So here we go. Very thin. Of course, some of it is because of the shampoo, but find that Williams Mock Soap is quite a thin soap on its own. And at least for me, it's too thin. So, but I'll be trying it out in with different creams and maybe even different soaps as well. So here we go. <coughs> Gem featherweight mild razor. Uh, The interesting thing with this razor was that when I got it, 
It was great. Really liked it. But then, after a blade or two, suddenly star stopped giving good shades. Which I still, to this day, think is very weird. Still works, of course, but for some reason it just doesn't give me as good shades as it used to. So I'll put it up for sale on eBay. If anyone would like to buy a gem featherweight, it's on there. Still taking it off. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but I can. And as I say, it's the last shape on this blade, so performance is not going to be at its best, obviously. Not as mild as the lady injector razor. But still mild, so if you want to try a single edge razor, then the uh, featherweight would be the way to go. <laughs> As you can see, it's dissipated a lot. So I don't like soaps that does that. It does have a soapy smell, but it's a very 
weird and funky kind of soap smell, at least to me. Can't recall ever smelling a soap like this before. It's not a native soap to my country, so... Maybe this is a standard soap smell in the UK. But not here in the DK. In the Danish Kingdom. These single ladies are great for getting under the nose on the last pass. You really get in there. So I suspect that it's going to be a bit to clean up with the pickup pants. Uh, you can still bite you. Still bite you. That was the third pass. <laughs> and actually, it's not bad. It's not too bad. But there is some, some pickups. Don't know if I can get them all with this laser. They use blade, but I'm gonna try. This is definitely a little bit too mild for me at this point of my wet shaving career. But I'm going to keep my Gem Junior and shave with it every now and then. I think it's gonna get much better than this. So we better stop before 
get too much irritation. EFS with warm water and getting ready for the cold water. Just got this, just tried it once, very nice. So I'm gonna try it again today. Superb for your skin. Now I don't care that it says body cream. My face is part of my body as far as I'm concerned. So that's it. This week's shave. Williams knock fuck. Old faithful. Kids shampoo, it's Danish brand sensitive kids shampoo, and last but not least, very mild in superb condition, gem featherweight with a generic blade on its last use. So, and I'll just show you here. Just gonna flip it up. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it out like that, and then just dab it dry. And you can see it says. No, you can see that, but it says gem. And on the other side, it says 
stainless. So that was that for that blade, and then I'm just going to dry it off. Just blow it dry and that will completely dry it. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Gem Razor inside. So, thank you for watching this week's weekly shave. I'll be uh, back next week, of course, with another shave. So, I do hope you tune in, and uh, until then, you know what to do.